Welcome back to my channel. Well, I've ran into kind of my first uh, hiccup with my 98 Jeep Grand Cherokee that I bought for mad cheap. Um, and it, uh, it's taken me a bit to figure this out. And there's uh, uh, videos about this. Uh, guaranteed superior quality. Guaranteed to piss you off too. So the key fob for the alarm system doesn't work on this Jeep. And the guy told me not to use the clicker. He says manually lock the doors. Now, manually <laughs> means just, just flip the little switches on each door. And don't use the power door lock switch because this activates the alarm as well as your key fob. I, would, I, would, I probably knew that. I just didn't pay attention. I didn't think about it. And uh, if, if my key fob doesn't work, it's just my habit or reaction, like a reflex, to hit the switch and shut the door. Activated. Alarm. Now... When I went out to my Jeep, unlocked it with the uh, key. You know, come in, stick your key in, you know, unlock, open up, alarm goes off. And of course, that's kind of embarrassing. So what do you want to do? You want to shut it off as soon as possible so no one thinks you're still in your own car. Well, key fob wasn't working. I tried the old close the door, you know, turn the, stick the key in. Lock it, unlock it, try locking it from the inside manually, come back, try again, go to the passenger side, try it there, go to the back, try it there, nothing. Nothing would turn this stupid alarm off, so I just disconnected the battery, and then the research begun. So... There's tons of videos about, like, oh, you come in here, and... Focus... Can we get it to focus? Let me get a flashlight. And come in here. Is the flashlight even going to help? And you cut this, this wire right here. This is a uh, violet or purple wire with the yellow stripe. And then you ground it out and that, you know, bypasses your alarm. Well... I was so anxious and excited and frustrated. I, I went to, I just heard yellow and purple and there's, there's a, uh, back in here, there's a yellow wire with a purple stripe. So it's just the exact opposite of what you want to cut really. Back here in this corner, sorry, it just is dark in here. I'm sorry. Anyway, don't cut that one. That's not going to do Jack Dilly squat for you. So I had a fix that one, come back to the drawing board, and then cut the right one, ground it out, and ta-da! That problem solved. But why? Why isn't my clicker not working? I, I replaced the batteries. So we have a lot of whys, and then, you know, we got to figure that out at some point. We're not doing that now. But for the time being, people say, oh, you know, you just connect this here and ground it out and then people are having uh uh draw issues drawing their battery dead of course you're you're pulling this system now to a ground which is creating a an issue you know and then it it draws your battery dead i'm not a big electrical <clears throat> know-it-all i don't really know jack squat about electrical i don't understand it i would like to know but i'm just gonna learn as i go a little bit more about stuff anyway you could do this to disable your alarm system and then start your Jeep, disconnect it, and your Jeep will start every time. And then at that point, if you're having issues with your fob or, or whatever, you don't have a fob, then uh, if your alarm goes off or you have to disconnect your battery, just... You know, just kind of keep this guy handy. 
So, you know, for example, I know that I need a new battery tray for this Jeep. So I'm going to buy one and I'm going to have to disconnect the battery and I have to go through this whole thing again. So instead of uh, messing around with all this stuff, I just created this wire and I'm going to just keep it here in this tray. And then when the time comes, I'm just going to stick it right here. I'm going to pop this up into this, into this hole right here. It's going to ground it out. It's going to bypass the system. I'm going to be able to start my Jeep and go about my way. So, um, so you don't have to go into your door panels and disconnect anything. You just do this temporarily, connect it, bypass your alarm, take this back off. Your Jeep will run just the same as it did before. And then that way you don't have a draw your battery dead situation going on until, you know, and then you could do, drive it like that forever, which I might end up doing. Or you could figure out what the real problem is, why the security system is uh, is uh, acting up. It seems to be a pretty common problem with these, you know, these ZJs, YJs, maybe even, I, I don't know. Um, but anyway, I've already gone on too long about this. I, I hope this helps someone. Uh, like I said, save some time. Don't take off your door panels. It's really unnecessary. They say that the... Um, the receiver whatever for your remote is in the passenger door with the door switches and you could probably get you know match that up with a remote that works or get a new switch and uh and get a remote and then bring it to your dealership and then they could program it <laughs> the heck with that man i'm just gonna do this for now Don't worry about it later i just want to drive the jeep i want to go up in the mountains and have fun and, uh, and yeah, so there's that. Hopefully this helps you, uh, help someone out. Thanks for watching.